it is something that I think about because I, I love classic rock. I love jazz. I love a lot of art and music that was created by people that were emotionally, chemically or psychoactively or spiritually just fucked up. And uh, it does kind of there is a romance to it that society has developed. There is some some truth to the fact that that does open portals like would Jimi Hendrix have done what he did were it not for things flowing through his body no one knows i have no idea um it is interesting as an artist or a creative person though because uh, many of us feel like the legacy that we leave with our work a lot of times we, we put that on a pedestal like this is the most important thing and a lot of people have died for that chase or that uh, validation it's hard to come up with a you know ultimate statement about this because there is something about exploring the edges of experience and one of the edges of experience is impermanence i'll say it again there you know you can develop the perfect yoga uh lifestyle the perfect nutrition lifestyle and it, it's just you don't know you could be run over by a bus you get cancer anyhow people say oh look they got cancer they must have been doing it. no 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 it's just the car we don't know all the causes and conditions for certain karmas to arise so and one of the ones that's universal is impermanence so, you know, I know Taoist masters, some legendary ones who maybe live to 200 or so, you know, they call them immortals, you know, they, they can live for a very long time. You can reverse aging processes, you know, but yeah, it goes by like that anyhow. Now you're 250, all your friends have died six times over and you're going like, you know, what, 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 what? So impermanence, I believe, has something about it that is... Um, uh, means to be making room for something to end 